Hello beauties and welcome to another video. If you're brand new here, hi, I'm Jessica from Jessing Things Up and today we're Jessing Things Up with some nail products. Here we have the brand new FMG Glimmer Nail Base and Top Coat. That's right, it is a base and top coat all in one. How freaking fantastic is that? That I'm insanely excited about because I don't have to have two separate products in my makeup drawer. I only need one. Multi-purpose, fantastic. Uh, this product, it did come in a while ago however the first one i got i did receive a damage and it leaked so avon quickly sent me a brand new one so thank you avon for that and that's the great thing about this business guys is that if you have any problems with your orders reach out to avon reach out to your mentor or reach out to your representative and they will make it right before we get into talking about the product here and we are going to do an experiment with it so make sure you do watch to the end for this one i've been asked to actually share with you the makeup that I'm wearing right now so that if you're interested you can always grab the shades yourself. So what I have on my face is on my eyes for the concealer. I didn't do any foundation today but I am using the Cashmere Longwear Concealer in Macaroon. My favorite concealer especially for right under the eyes is nice and light so it doesn't cake on. I'm using the Cashmere Powder in N120, my absolute fave. I've hit the pan which is very rare for me. On my eyes I'm also using the Glimmer Shadow Liquid Eyeshadow in Crystal Lilac, one of my favorite shades. Thank you. I think it was the Avon Zone that recommended that one for me. And then uh, I also have the liner in the Avon Pro Liner. Ridiculously love that liner. It is so smooth, great price point, an amazing product all around. And for mascara, I'm using the, the Cashmere Mascara. I can't remember the actual name of it right now, but it's the Cashmere Mascara. And then on my cheeks, I have on this. This is the VDL Creamy Stick Jelly in Gretel. This is a really, really great versatile product. I wanted it because I wanted to try something like a purple tint on my cheek here, but it's also beautiful on your cheeks and on your lips. So I'm not only just using this on my lips, but because you know this girl, how much I love mixing up my lip colors. I did this as the base, and then I also added in this one here, which is the FMG Satin Lipstick in Violet Night beautiful deep shade of purple and then finally I did a little bit on the fuller part of my lips I use this this one has been discontinued but this is the Avon true color nourishing lipstick in dragon fruit blush very beautiful beautiful shade so that's what I got on my face so if you're interested in learning any more about these products except for this one because it's been discontinued click the link in the description box all right let's move on to the actual product itself why use a base coat you use a base coat for many reasons it could be used to prevent staining if it's uh, something that you want to just have a nice little sheer protective coating on your nails. It can also help protect your actual nails itself. It can also do, help you smooth out the surface so you have an evener a color coat if you're choosing to do a color coat. The good thing about this one here, not only is this product free from parabens and talc, but it's also free from gluten, fragrance, and phthalates. So for our gluten sensitive friends, this might be a good product for you, but it also, in addition to all of that, it is also a vegan product. So if you're looking for a vegan nail polish, this is your friend. So what I am pairing it with, I am pairing it with this, which is the FMG Nail Lacquer in Lost Galaxy Plum. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment. After I open, show, smell, all that lovely stuff, I'm going to be painting my nails in various ways. So on my right hand, I'm going to do base coat, top coat with the color. But on my left hand, I'm going to do something a little bit different. My thumb is going to be naked except for the nail polish, okay? Now for my pointy finger, I'm going to do base coat, no top coat. Middle finger, I'm going to do top coat, no no base coat and then for everything else is going to be base coat and top coat yes I think I got everything <laughs> now to keep it straight in my mind so without further ado let's open this up now people who they use a top coat I think the most obvious reason is to prolong the longevity of your nail polish but I was always really horrible about base coats so here's the product itself I mean it looks like a nail polish it is it looks like it is a nail polish essentially we're going to open it up very easy twist cap off it smells like a nail polish it's so it's not fragrance free there's just no added fragrance to it so it smells like what you would expect with a nail polish so first all we're going to do is i said base coat on this finger and then i'll do no base coat on my middle finger and thumb and then everything else will have base coat so let's take a look at what just the base coat will look like see how shiny it is it applies really really well really easily because see so 
right here i have a base coat just on my pointy finger and nothing else on my other fingers and you can see how much shinier my pointy finger is it has like this beautiful sheen to it so let's do the rest of the nails first so naked base coat no base coat on my middle finger and then everything else will have base and top coat I'm excited though because I have not done my nails in forever. The other thing I bought for my nails was I bought this oopsie pad. I've been calling it an oopsie pad. It's going to stick in my mind as an oopsie pad. But the actual name itself is FMG Glimmer Nail Lacquer Eraser Pen. But I like the name oopsie pad. I think the name oopsie pads just sounds so cute. One nail is done. We're going to wait for it to dry. And let's see how long it takes to dry. So it's been about maybe 30 seconds. And while we do that, I'm going to paint my other nails. Oops. Oh, I'm going to need that oopsie pen for sure. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've done my nails. It feels so foreign to paint with my left hand. I am going to use it as a top coat as well. And then I'm also going to end up recording throughout the week how my nails fare. So I'm dancing tonight, so I'm teaching tonight. Plus, I ran out of uh, dishwasher gloves, so I'll be washing my, my dishes sans glove until this weekend when I can go back to the store and pick up some. Here are my nails as of right now. So middle finger here does not have nail polish and neither does my thumb because that's going to be completely naked as well. Actually, does ours have strengthening? It does have some strengthening elements to it as well. Even More even coat, strengthening your nails, protecting it from discoloration, all great things. Next, we're going to apply the purple, the Lost Galaxy purple on my nails. Okay, I want to see, it, it's going to be interesting to see how, what the difference is of how it applies with a base coat and without a base coat, sis. Give it a shaky shoe. So this nail polish, it has a silky nail strengthening formula and also has a gel-like finish. It's supposed to not chip. Now, I think that also depends on how brutal you are with your nails. I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty rough with my hands. I run after a three-year-old, so. But isn't this a stunning color? So this is on a naked nail. Interesting to see if it stains too. This coat on a naked nail, little streaky. Now let's try it on the one with a base coat. Wow. Oh yeah, it makes a little bit of a difference actually. A little bit. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I haven't done this for so long. I actually have to concentrate to do my nails. So you can see like the middle finger here didn't have base coat the pointy finger did, and you can definitely see that there is a bit of a difference. You know what, it, it actually spreads out more even when you have the base coat on. Like, I could technically just go out like this, and I'll be perfectly fine. This one here, a little questionable. I wanna keep going with my nails, and once I'm done, I wanna put on, I'll be back to put on the top coat. I'm back, I just finished doing my first coat of the nails, and right away, there is a huge difference. Here's the middle finger of my left hand that I did not put the base coat on, and here's the middle finger of my right hand that has the base coat. Do you see the difference? Oh my gosh, it lays on so much better with the base coat. That's insane. I'm really, really, really impressed with how well the ba like how much the base coat just kind of smooths everything and gives us a really good canvas for the color to go onto. So definitely good for that. I am going to go ahead and just do a little bit of touching up. I'm going to use this here, which is the FMG uh, nail lacquer eraser pen or the oopsie pen as I was calling it. And I'm just going to clean up the edges a little bit because I made a bit of a mess. I've already used it before, as you can tell, and then typically the tip is white, but you see how I have some on, on my finger here? All I gotta do is rub it off. Same thing right here. So I made a bit of a mess. I'll just take my oopsie pen, go in, give it a rub. It just erases it. It's so much cleaner. Probably will see a lot more because I am not good at painting with my left hand. Basically a tipped makeup remover wand. So it's just really convenient. And you don't have to go look for Q-tips and all that stuff. Look at that. Huge difference, right? Huge difference. This is a really good product. All right, I wanna finish tidying this up. So now we're gonna to do to top coat. So this one, my thumb is staying naked. This one is going to be base coat only. So from my middle finger on my left hand, onwards we're going to do top coats and see 
how that changes things. So we've already come to the conclusion that doing a base coat is a good idea. So now let's see what difference a top coat will make. It'll take a few days, I think, for it to realize that. So here's the top coat. It's supposed to help your nail polish last longer. I heard you can make it last up to like seven days by using a top coat, which would be amazing. Because, I mean, if I'm gonna put like an hour a week into this, it needs to last. Also a very awkward angle that we're in which I'm doing my nails because <laughs> I'm trying to show you. So stay tuned. We're going to be back to see what the difference a top coat and base coat will make. So see you in a bit. Hello, hello. All right, we are finishing up our nails video tonight. I have my assistant here, Miss Ginevra. Anyways, on the serious note, because I am so serious all the time. Today is day nine. Yes, day nine. Day nine of nails. And as you can see, this was the completely naked nail. So there is some peeling here. This was with the with only the base coat. There is some peeling here. And this one was only the top coat. A little bit peeling on both. These two fingers had complete top and bottom coat. Final thoughts. Actually, before I do that, let's try taking off the nail polish before I get into the my final thoughts. Because this is a slightly darker color, the purple, I did want to see if it does help with to prevent staining. So here's my thumb. So I'm going to remove both of the, th the nail polish on the thumb. I was going to say, I'm going to remove both thumbs, but that would be kind of a painful and dangerous, yeah? Why would it be painful? To remove my thumbs? Chop, chop. Oh. <laughs> Totally kidding. The one thing is, I wish Avon had nail polish remover. We don't. We used to, but we don't now. I'm using the Sally Hansen one. It's a great one. I've been using this one for years. So this is the side that I took. I did not have a base coat on. And so now we're going to remove it from the other side, which had both base and top coat. And that way you are able to see if whether or not it helps to prevent the staining of the nails. Both thumbs are done. So this is the side that had both base and top coat. This is the side that was a naked nail, only the nail polish. And I think I see a little bit of a difference. I mean, it's very, very, very light, but there is a teeny tiny bit of a difference with the coloration. You can see that this thumb is a little bit darker than this side. So that's that. So it does help a little bit with the staining. There was a, still a little bit of staining that did happen on my, on my uh, right thumb, but not as much as my left thumb. So... My final thoughts about this product here. So the nail polish, I love the color. Not much to say about that. It does take a little bit longer to dry. I wish it did dry a little bit faster, but it is a beautiful color. It lasted for a very long time, even with the nail that I did not put any top coat on and also the naked nail. For the base and top coat, I really liked it as a base coat because I think that helped it to apply more evenly. It created a smooth um, base for it so that the nail polish just kind of like slid on and laid and dried there perfectly well. As a top coat, I think it did help it last a little bit longer. You'll see that it did seem to help a little bit more, uh, especially though, if you use it as a base and top coat. I feel that the that's the best bang for your buck if you're using it for both. You'll see from these two nails here compared to these two. So this one was just the base coat and this one was just the top coat. So for the base coat, it did start to like come off and as same thing with ju as just a top coat now i am disappointed though that even though i did apply it during the day and had many hours to dry before i went to bed i woke up and then it already was a little bit on the um scratched side it didn't have a really clean like almost like a hard finish i don't know if it's just because it is a home manicure and i have to go to a salon to get those really hard smooth nail looks i thought that the top coat would really help with that and unfortunately it didn't so that one eh, makes me a little bit sad but it, it is what it is possibly or if you have a suggestion for a top coat that does prevent it from having the scratches after you sleep let me know. I, I honestly thought that this would help, but it didn't help as much as I wanted it to. Yeah. Did you know that this is called Shining Star? I didn't know that. Oh, maybe it's because it's clear. Maybe. All in all, would I use it again? Yeah, I already have it. It worked really well. I mean, nine days for a whole mani. That's not bad. I know my right hand looks a little bit more like 
mangled than my left is because I use my right hand a lot more. I am right-handed, so I use it, and I ran out of gloves, so I've been washing dishes and cooking and everything without a glove. There was no protection for these nails at all, which is not the good thing to do, but it, it is what I did. So don't do as I do. With that said, guys, if you're interested in seeing all the shades that are available in our new FMG Glimmer Nail Polish line or the... Avon Pro Polish, I think that's what it's called anyways. Make sure you do go to the link in the description box below. I will definitely keep using it. I already have it. I really liked it as a base and a top. I just wish that it didn't scratch as much, but it is what it is for now. Um, maybe when Avon comes up with another one, I could try that at that time. And until next time, guys, stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastically kind. Have a good